Welcome to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's start by settling in with a slow, deep breath. Hari Om Tatsa. Om Shanti. This is episode number 247. I was thinking of a song I could go with this. I couldn't think of one, but last night I woke up in the middle of the night and this Crosby, Stills, and Nash song came to mind. So I'm calling this episode, They Are Three Together, as in the song, They are one person, they are two alone, they are three together. They are for each other. And we're on the twelfth verse of the sixth chapter. It goes, Sit in meditation, calm the mind and senses by focusing your attention on one point and wholeheartedly practice yoga for the purification of the self. This verse gives a, a three-step approach to self-purification. Step one is upavisya, sit down. Though we can practice meditation in any bodily position, Sri Krishna is recommending that our regular practice be in a seated position rather than standing or lying down. When we're standing, we may not be stable enough to be safe. And when we're lying down, our pranas disperse and the mind tends to drift away. Step two is yata shit indriya, yata shit indriya, draw the mind and senses within. The mind and senses have gotten used to a strong outward orientation. Through our meditation process, we're learning how to entice them to calm down and move inward. This is what Sri Patanjali in the Yoga Sutras calls Pratyahara. It requires a gentle, um, persevering, patient, and skillful training. If we try to grab them by the scruff of the neck and drag them in, the sense in the mind will likely dig in their heels and be even more troublesome. Step three is ekagrata, make the mind one-pointed. Once the senses of the mind are drawn within, the next step is to get the mind to focus, what Patanjali calls dharana or concentration. As we all know, the mind has a mind of its own. I don't even think God knows what the mind is going to come, with, come up with in the next moment. However, Krishna is clear that throughout the Gita he talks about that it is possible to train the mind to stay focused through abhyasa, practice, and vairagya, non-attachment. And these three steps lead to what he calls atma vishuddhaya, the purification of the self. The practice of meditation will clean the mirror, the mind, so that it reflects accurately the person standing in front of it, the eternal self. It is the ego that's getting purified, the true self, the Atman, needs no purification. I'll read you a few quotes on this verse. Swami Chidbhavananda says, Like bathing and cleansing the body with water, the mind has to be purified by repeatedly merging it in the self. And this process is lifelong. Swami Mukundananda says, Through meditation we can reach deep within and cleanse the mind of endless lifetimes of dross. It enables one to eliminate bad samskaras and habits and cultivate good qualities. Sri Swami Shivananda says, You must be very regular in your practice. Only then will you succeed. Regularity is of paramount importance. Through regular and constant meditation, you can purify the subconscious mind of, and its constant memories. Be sure of this. And lastly, uh, my guru, Swami Satchitananda says, 
You get rid of all the wild thoughts by filling the mind with one chosen beautiful thought. For a reflection, that one chosen beautiful thought is called our, our Ishta Devata. It is our portal to our true nature. Do you have such a thought that can pull you back towards your source? Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.